What is up, Notre Dame fans? Mike Singer from blueandgold.com here. Happy Friday, folks, and we have a new commitment to talk about. Darren Agu, 6'6", 228-pound defensive end from Rabin Gap, Georgia. Uh, really exciting prospect to talk about. Before we dive in today's video, I want to make sure you guys are aware of our new promotion going on, promo code SPRINGBALL. Four months free when you use that promo code. Make sure you use that at blueandgold.com. And you know what to do. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button on this video. Subscribe to our channel for more content so you can help support what's going on here at blueandgold.com and on our YouTube page. So let's kind of start with who is Darren Agu. Again, 6'6", 228 pounds. This is someone who I've seen twice in just the past couple of weeks. The length is there. Um, he's a legit 6'5", 6'6", uh, ranked as a high three-star prospect number 27 athlete in the country, um, number 47 player in the state of Georgia. He's listed as an athlete by rivals because he played tight end and defensive end and had offers uh, for Division I schools for both positions. During his junior season in 2020, he caught 13 passes for 218 yards and five touchdowns, and he didn't play a ton on defense. He came in um, and mainly played tight end as a junior, and then when he was on defensive side of the ball at, at, as a rush end, um, it was mainly, uh, you know, just him um, playing off of his athleticism. I uh, recorded 11 tackles, one tackle for loss, three sacks, and a fumble recovery. Um, so why, you know, he, he's so kind of new and green to the game is this was his first year playing 11-man football. Um, Ogu moved over from the uh, UK um, uh, in August of 2020. This is his first season playing 11-man ball. Um, and uh, came in as a tight end, and he told his coach, hey, I want to play some defensive end too. And his coach said, if you can show me that you can block as a tight end, I'll let you play defensive end. And what he put on tape as a defensive end really impressed college scouts. Um, and then this off offseason, um, he's really impressed as a defensive end. These clips here that you'll see on the screen, this is from the VTO Elite 100 camp. Um, in Alpharetta, Georgia, on May 28th, clips that I took from seeing him in person, um, and th this was really impressive. Um, he had a great showing here. Um, Notre Dame was able to evaluate him from this camp as well. Uh, of course, not in person, um, but uh, and they were really impressed. You know, the, the, you see the long arms, um, the frame there, and his advanced pass rush skills you know from what he's put on tape in 2020 to now he certainly got a lot better um in, in his um just overall knowledge of how to get off the edge you know he he had those tight end offers but he knew that a uh, defense event is my highest upside what's interesting is you know he's from the uk when you talk to him he clearly has a strong british accent but he's actually from ireland um i, I don't think he lived there long maybe a year or two um, but you know, it's a little bit of a homecoming with him, uh, picking Notre Dame, um, w with, with his Irish roots, you know, you watch the tape, you, you see the, the clear upside and, you know, I feel like some Notre Dame fans watching this and, um, see the three-star ranking and, and, and the thought might be, well, Mike, so are, are you basically just telling us that this is a, uh, another three-star high upside hidden gem type player? You know, whatever you guys want to think about this commitment, that that's certainly up to you. But he had 31 offers in total, and Notre Dame offered a goo on April 1st. A couple hours before Notre Dame offered a goo, you want to know who offered? Nick Saban called. Uh, Alabama offered him. So also had Penn State, a uh, long list of scholarship offers, again, 31 in total. Um, and, and he didn't have any. Uh, before he came over um, uh, to the United States. So 31 offers since uh, last fall, and uh, you know he's only going to get better from here. Uh, from what you're seeing here to now, he's improved a bunch as a football player, bigger, stronger, faster. I think what you guys are going to see on film from his senior season is just going to be night and day. This, this young man is, a, in my opinion, is a bona fide four-star guy. And, you know, if, if you're going to give – one coach on the Notre Dame staff, the ability to go take a three-star developmental player, it's certainly Mike Elstey. Look at what he's done with not only recruiting um, some three-star guys with that high upside, but international players um, too from from overseas. Mike Elson's done a really good job with. You know, you look at you know Ade Ogundeji, a low three-star guy. Um, who was once a Western Michigan commit, and then even in some recent recruiting history, 
Alexander Ehrensberger, you know, Notre Dame went and got him from Germany. And I know Hawaii's in the United States, but Notre Dame also went over and got Jordan Patelho from Hawaii and, and both of those guys in the 2020 class. Um, so Mike Elston will go, um, you know, nearby to get recruits and will also go, um, you know, outside the United States mainland to recruit. Um, so um, Agu uh, plays in Raven Gap, Georgia. That's in the very northeast corner of the state of Georgia. Um, his high school actually plays against North Carolina teams because it's right on a North Carolina Georgia border. And uh, he, he, he looks great on tape. You know, I, I really like what I see from him and then in viewing him in person. So this is a look at the commitment list on rivals, of course. I'm recording this video before Agu announced on Friday, so he's not on here, but he's commit number 12 of Notre Dame's class, a current top five class um, per rivals in this 2022 cycle. Uh, we have it sorted by position here. Notre Dame has a commitment at every position other than, you know, kicker, punter, you know, holders, you know, with long snapper, no, no specialist. There's no commitments for holder, but uh, no, no specialist committed so far. See, uh, you know, receiver, Amarion Walker, uh, tight end, Jack Nickel, can Notre Dame land more tight ends? You know, Notre if Darren Agu doesn't work out a defensive end, you know, Notre Dame could definitely do worse at the tight end position. Agu um, looks good. We didn't see any of his tape, but you guys can just trust me. He, he's a solid tight end as well. That was his main position last Last, uh, last fall, Jadarian Price, big feature on him. We posted at blueandgold.com. Make sure to check that out. Um, off the field, um, on the field, you're not going to find a better young man than Jadarian Price. Steve Angeli, four-star on rivals, the quarterback pledge for the Irish. Um, you know, helping recruit for Notre Dame on the trail. He was recently bumped up to four-star status on ESPN. You know, I really like that quarterback get for Notre Dame with Angeli. A couple offensive line pledges, Joey Tanona, Ty Chan. I actually think Notre Dame's going to wrap up its offensive line class with four or five guys before the start of the season. Um, keep an eye on that month of June for not, not I mean, all these positions, but specifically with the offensive line, Notre Dame is going to have all of its big offensive linemen on campus. A couple of linebacker commitments, Josh Burnham, Nolan Ziegler, four-star players from Michigan. Notre Dame's going to sign um, uh, maybe the best, de or excuse me, the best linebacker class in the entire country. Hey, maybe they sign one of the best defensive line classes in the country when else is all said and done. Tyson Ford, a top 100 player from Missouri. Aiden Gobier, who's just dominated during his his junior season um, in the DMV area. Jaden Mickey, the lone four-star, um, the lone cornerback commit, defensive back commit in general for Notre Dame, four-star player from California. Notre Dame's recruiting well in the secondary as well. So, you know, in talking to sources, um, you know, inside the Goog and just kind of general folks in the college football recruiting world, people are really liking this 2022 Notre Dame class. Um, a, a good combination of um, a highly coveted, you know, four-star type guys with a, a mix of, you know, these three-star guys who, you know, maybe are a little bit more developmental, you know, uh, an Amorion Walk or Aiden Go I, I don't know if I'd necessarily put Darren Agu with that, but but sure, you know, uh, th those kind of three-star high upside guys, um, just a ton to like uh, w with this class, recruiting at a high level. Will Notre Dame sign a top five class? You know, it's, it's too early to tell right now. But uh, again, the optimism here is big. That's going to do it for this video. Again, before you guys get out of here, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel for more Notre Dame football video content. Use that promo code SPRINGBALL. When you sign up for a new monthly subscription, you'll get four months added to your subscription for free. That is, uh, I think, like over $40 in savings. So make sure to use that at blueandgold.com.